I thank you all for coming to June's wedding. Now, although some of us have met today for the first time, I hope that by tonight we shall all be one big happy party. June and Gordon have started a new life. And what I want to say is, I hope that... I... I hope... Uh, oh, yes. I hope that they'll be as happy as any of me have been during the past... Uh, past 26 years. Oh, you'll have to do better than that, then. Hello, Billy. I didn't see you come in. No, you were too busy spouting. If I had my way, I'd wish them luck and leave it at that, but you know what your mother is. Well, I spent read... half last night writing out this little lot and nearly all this morning trying to learn it. Well, why don't you read it from the paper? Because I've been told I haven't to, that's why. Why don't you mind your own business? I'm finished dressing. <laughs> it's a quarter to ten. They'll be here in half an hour. Hey, what do you mean? I'm dressed. Well, where's your button hole, then? Button hole? What button hole? Now, don't be so gone, miss. You know very well what I'm talking about. Your carnation. Yeah, I'm not wearing no flower. I'd look a right dress. It's bad enough being lumbered with this lot. Now, don't start on that again. That's the first decent suit I've seen you wearing since you came home. Decent suit? All I need is a bowler hat and I look like a clubman. Well, there's no wrong with that suit. It's hand-cooked. Ah, well, he must have used a knife and fork. Well, just see so you get a flower in your butt now before your mother comes in. Oh, all right. I don't know, weddings. Sergeant Major never made me wear buttonholes. Hey, not a pink one. Come here, let me do it for you. It's white for the gents. Now, remember, white for the gents and pink for the ladies. There you are. And it's your job to see that every guest has got a flower in his buttonhole. I suppose he hasn't got a buttonhole in his coat. There's a box of pins on the table if you use your eyes. Oh, I thought there is. We're dead efficient, are we? Trust our Joan. Weddings, speeches, taxes, flowers. Well, you that. can't blame her, can you? After all, it's her big day today. Ah, oh, well, we're having none of this bull when I get married. Just ten minutes in the registry office and we're away, no messing. Uh, that's what you say now, but when the time comes, you won't have much chance. <laughs> Oh, well, there's one thing about a big wedding. You get lots of presents, don't you? Look at this lot. Oh, she's done very well as our Joan, and there's still a few more to come in. Hey, what's this? That's for making coffee. <laughs> well, it's no use for our Joan, is it? She don't drink coffee. Well, she might want to make some for Gordon. Ah, you'll be lucky. From Auntie Mavis and Uncle Tom, eh, Dad? There's another electric toaster that makes the fifth. Oh, it was just the same when your mum and me got married. Only then it was clocks. Four <laughs> chimers we got. What did you do with them? Gave them away as wedding presents. And that's what our journal will do with this little lot, if she's any sense. Oh, well, she better not give me now, one. Look, I've got my speech to learn. Be quiet for a minute, will you? And what do you think you're doing? I'm having a drink. Huh. That's what you think. That's for the guests. Besides, what would your mother say if she came in and found you drinking whiskey before going to church? Yeah. Walker. Hello, love. Now, though you're trying to hide it, I've caught you red-handed, haven't I? Yeah, I might have known the minute my back was turned, you'd bit the bottle of whiskey. Hey, but I... And don't you start standing up for him either. You're thick as thieves, you two, when you get together. All right, you might as well drink it, seeing as you've poured it out, but you won't get another till after the wedding. Is everything ready now, Mum? Nothing's nowhere near ready. Have all the flowers come? Ah, oh, they're on the table. Did you check they were all right? Well, no, love. As a matter of fact, I... And what about you? Did you make sure we could get that extra car? You forgot all about yes, that, Yes, I thought so. Well, I've been running about like someone not right. You two have just stood here gassing. I don't know. I've been trying for the last half hour to get upstairs to help our Joan. But what with one thing and another, I haven't had a minute. You know, the poor girl will never be ready in time. I'm ready now. Oh. Hey, you look lovely, lass. <laughs> Got my football things, Irma. Yes, and I haven't half had a job with them shorts of yours. You know, I've washed them three times, and I know I'm near right. Oh, the ground was very heavy on Saturday. It wasn't so bad on the wings, but there was a lot of mud in the middle. Oh, I think you must have bought most of it home with you. Yes. Huh. Are you expecting somebody? No, why? Well, nothing. I've only been traipsing backwards and forwards from that front door all morning. Well, I was just keeping an eye on the weather. They said on the wireless it was going to be fine and sunny, but you can't rely on them. Yeah. I do hope it doesn't rain. Ah, well. It doesn't matter so much this week. We're playing the Albion. It's on cinders. What are you talking about? Well, if it's on cinders, there won't be any mud, will there? That's what you're worrying about, isn't it? Is it, attack? Don't you ever think of anything besides football? What do you more than about the rain for? Well, it's Joan Walker's wedding this morning, that's oh, why. Oh, that. Well, the people in the world beside you, you yes, know. Yes, ma'am. Oh. 
Oh, hello, look, I say, have you seen any uh, king shirt? Yes, on the chair there, and oh. the chair. Oh, Tarlow. What are you all set for this afternoon, then? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I see we'd better have uh, early dinner today, you know, Phil. Yeah. You're not a bit sharpish, like. Well, come with me, then. Well, of course I'm coming with you. Oh. Well, I thought I'd be going watching the first team in the semi-finals. Stand a good chance of getting through. There's stand a better chance, lad, if you were playing for them. Oh, a bit young for the first team yet, then. Nay, yeah, lad, the way you played last week, they can't keep you out for long. They play the blinder. Ah, oh, now, Dad. No, fair is fair. You had that outside left in your pockets. Hey, you never got a smell in. Yeah. Oh. Still, there's... Oh. Oh, thanks, Ed. Oh, there's a big difference between under-18s and open age. <laughs> well, that last time I saw that first team of yours, I thought now at right half, centre half wasn't much cup either. Well, they're in the semi-final, anyhow. About as far as they'll get. <laughs> well, say, Lord, have you seen my cufflinks? Well, I'll try the shirt you just turned off. Well, they usually are. Oh, come here. Hey, what were you doing standing outside the door, right? I was watching for Joan Walker. What's it for Joan Walker? Hey, what will neighbours think? I don't care what they think. It's yeah. not every day we have a wedding in Coronation Street. Well, I don't want them thinking my wife's in Rosie Parker. Besides, it's now to see. Let's please now. Shall all come out front and load you into the cars as they come? Come along, let's get out back. Oh, it's in number 57 in the red back dim booth. Dad! Oh, Auntie Mavis, your car's on the way. Could you come out front? Come along, everybody. Move along there, please. Hurry up, I'm in come out there. You're in the first car, all right? Come along, everybody. Come on, last one out to city. Come on. That's it. Outside. Wait outside. The cars will be along. You've got to take them, all right? I'll see you in church, Jack. No, I don't. Don't. Come on. Third kid from the back. All right, Lord. Right, now there's one more car, Lord, then it's you, Dad, all right? Well, I don't, son. Get Dad. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's only you and me left now. What have you been doing? Oh, nothing really. I was just thinking. It's surprising how quickly time passes, isn't it? Joan. Yes, Dad, what is it? We'll, uh, we'll be going in a minute, and I shan't have much chance to say anything once we get to church. So I would like you to know that your mother and me are very happy about you. You've been a good girl to us, and we shall miss you very much. Bless you, Dad. I miss you as well, and Mum. I shan't ever forget all you've done for me. I know how much it must have cost you sending me to college and all that. It's been worth every penny. You've been a credit to us. Now, you you won't forget to come and see us sometime, will you? Of course not. Oh, to hear you talk, you think I was going to Australia instead of Derby. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. I'll be over as soon as we're settled in the house. Uh, and you'll always be welcome, lass. Hey, look at the time. Where's that car got to? Dad, uh, calm down. There's no need to get excited. I'm not excited. I'm as calm as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got a lot of guests, haven't they? Aye, and all relations too, you know. Well, they can't ask everybody. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we'd have heard them to ask one or two of the regulars. Oh, I can't see out from here. I'm going to get to the front. Can't see out. I'll see if we've got any change. Oh, I saw, did it? Must be all the excitement, though. What's exciting about a wedding? I don't know. I suppose Stanley looking's all right. Oh, I don't know. I'll never forget mine. You won't forget mine in hurry, either. There's four cars I've counted already, and I think I missed one while I was getting my coat on to come home. Me. Well, I'll bet this is costing Jack Walker a bob or two, this lot. Well, if they can't afford to pay, who can? I'll bet there's a crowd down at St. Thomas's this morning. You can't beat a nice church wedding. I don't hold with these registry office affairs myself. Oh, and well, what's wrong with them? Oh, they're all right, as long as you don't mind that sort of thing, but it's not like a proper wedding in the eyes of the law. Oh, isn't it? Well, let me tell you something, Mrs. Noel. A wedding is a wedding, whether it's as Robinson and Street registry office or Westminster Abbey. Oh, well, that's why it's all right for some folk. Were you hinting at me, by I'm not hinting at anyone. 
I was about to say, it doesn't matter where you get married, it's who you marry that counts. Oh, well, you ought to know with all your experience. Look, Ina Sharples, if you're looking for trouble, then you've come to the right shop. You may touch you this morning, oh, have you? Oh, don't come the innocent with me. I know you have all. Look, my private affairs are my concern and nobody else's. And you can play at that game. I might say something about you in a minute. Let them that is without sin cast the first stone. Well, you won't be throwing any then, will you? Dear, there's my shop bell. Are you here after a divorce? I thought you would. Oh, well, this is I all said. If you can't hold on oh, to a yes, proper... that's right. I've heard it. You know, some poor souls have to kick in a bucket before they can get rid of their wives. Were well, you referring to me, Bianca? Because, because if you were, let me tell you... Well, it's in my front door. I'm busy. Come on. Right, this is us. Let me get Uncle Tom. Right. Hang on, mate. Be with you in a minute. Next one's yours, Dad. Oh, my God. She looks a lot younger than him, doesn't she? Oh, I don't know. I thought they were both about the same age. I meant them as just slept. Uncle Tom there, Billy called him. Oh, you see some right couples at weddings. That were a musquash coat she were wearing. Who? Her as went in the second car. The one as was wearing the purple hat. What about it? Nothing. I was just saying. Hello. Glory be a tear. Mr. Walker, yeah, the car's here. Just coming. Oh, just a minute, Concepta. Now, you sure you'll be all right? Now, look, don't worry about me. I'll manage fine. Has that you it turned up yet? Not yet, but he won't let us down. Hey, I hope not. you better let him take care of the public, and you look after the best room in the snow. Now, leave everything to us, and you'd better be going if you don't want to be late. <sighs> Are you ready, Dad? Oh, I'm ready, lass. Oh, have you got everything? Yes. Oh. I think she's coming. Oh, oh nice. she's so lovely. Very nice. Yeah, she doesn't look as nice as our Joan and her father, they're on the way to the church. Well, they're not. They're still outside. The car won't stop. After the guests. Oh, they'll be all right. I've had enough of relations for one day. I'm sorry, though, I asked them back. Anyway, our Billy's in there. He'll take care of them. 
They won't miss us. They're having too good a time. <laughs> Our Tom was halfway through because when I came out. The only song he knows and he always forgets the words of the last verse. Well, he's harmless enough. Hey, that's a good-looking girl. He's married. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Oh, not in my eyes, anyway. Mutton dressed as she, she dressed as mutton, if you ask me. Skirts up to her back. Well, I thought she was very nice. Oh, I can see you did. So did all the rest of the men. Don't think I didn't see you making sheep's eyes out of your big sock. Hey, Annie Love, I will only be friendly. Ah, well, be friendly with me then and pour me out a glass of sherry. <laughs> oh, what a day. What with our Lily having one of her turns in church and you and Joan being late. I didn't know whether I was coming or going. I thought that car was never going to start. No. Hey, hello. Hello. Well, cheers. cheers. Oh, I think it all went off very well. And I remembered my speech. Huh? Well, nearly. Oh, you didn't do so bad. I thought they put on a very good meal at the Ridgeway. Oh, well, they all seem to enjoy it. Mm. Pretty hard, Joan and Gordon, not to leave so early. Mm. However, they're well on the way now. Mm. <laughs> we gave them a good send-off at station, didn't we? I shall never forget the look on Gordon's face when our Billy emptied that packet of confetti over him. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself writing like that on the carriage windows. Well, it was only a bit of fun. He's a good lad, Gordon. He can take a job. He's more than his relations can, miserable lot. Never did trust people who didn't take a drink. Now, now, Annie Love, it's Gordon she's married, not his family. And a good thing, too, if you ask me. Did you see the look on the face of that auntie of his when I asked her to come back here for a drink? Oh, no, thank you very much. We're all TT. Oh, all except his Uncle Fred, and he can make up for the rest of them. Do you know what? I reckon he sucked a whole bottle of whiskey all by himself. I've forgotten all about him. Is he still here? Still here. I'd like to take a bet he'll still be here at closing time. Oh. I can't stand much more of him or his jokes. Oh, he just go on, doesn't you he? You can't get a word in edgeways no. once he starts. Sure. If it wasn't for the fact that he's Gordon's uncle, I'd have got rid of him long before now. Ah, there you are, Jack. I've been looking all over for you. Having a quiet drink with the missus, are you, you crafty old devil? Yeah, well, only it's all right, you don't have to make excuses. After all, if a fella can't have a drink in his own pub, where can he? I'll bet you've not put money in till, have you? Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go and see that everything's all right in the public. Uh, no, I'll go, love. I said I was going. Oh, all right, love. Don't take any wooden shillings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would, you, would you like a glass of sherry? Ah, well, go on then, seeing as how you've twisted my arm. Oh. Here, before you get them, have you heard the one about the sailor? and the fan dancer, there were this bird in a red eye. Come on, double up, look sharp. Hey, wait a minute, I can't get me cold on. Can't you sleep, folks, will you? Uh, right, sir. Oh. Here you are, Frank. I've made your coffee this week for a change. Oh, thank you, love. Are you sure going to be warm enough? Yes, I'll be all right. No, of course. You ready, lad? <laughs> good time. Come on. Yeah. Have a good game, dear. Right, 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 right. We'll be back about uh, before six. Right, I'll have your tea ready. All right, come on, lad. I'll we'll go out the back way until we empty it quicker. Come on. Ta-da. 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 All right, come on. It's been one for a bit of travelling. It broadens the mind, you know, and I'm broad-minded, if nothing else. I was in Paris during the war. Oh, aye. What mob was you in, then? I was in the army. Army, eh? Aye, aye. I was in the arms room as such. You can't beat the old senior service. All over the med, I want, Quint. Aye, they wanted me to sign on, offered me promotion. Did you get any tapes up? Oh, aye, I had a couple. Oh, Corporal. Corporal Jack Walker, eh? Ah, well, I were a petty officer. Uh, they tried to give me a commission, but I refused it. I prefer to be on lower deck, you know. I enjoyed myself with the lads. Ah, it were a grand life, plenty of grub, the old rum ration and all the sport you wanted. I used to do a bit of boxing, you know. There's not much you haven't done, is there? Ah, you're right there. You name it, I've done it. Uh, oh. uh, do you play bowls? Ah, bowls. Now you've got me there. That's the one game I've never played. Ah, oh, well, now it just happened. My brother's the one. Now he can play bowls. Oh. He's won the Waterloo handicap. Oh, he would. Three years running. Oh, hello, then. Then who's this uh, darker beauty? Yes, Conceptor, what is it? I'm sorry to be bothering you, but Mrs. Walker wants to know if you could come and change over the bitter in number one. Of course I'll do it at once. You'll have to excuse me. It's all right, I understand. Business before pleasure, eh? Duty calls and all that. We mustn't keep the customers waiting. Now, don't you fret about me, Jack. I can look after myself. Sit down and have a chat with me, love. Oh, sure, I have no time to be sitting down. Isn't there room full of customers waiting to be served? 
pulled out, are you? Jack, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a lift. An extra pair of hands is always useful. No, there's no need to bother. I can manage by myself. Nonsense, after the way you've treated me. Hey, the least I can do is give you a hand when you're busy. Oh, I'm an expert, you know. As a matter of fact, I know quite a bit about pub work. Now then, where's your cellar? Take it easy, Martha Longus. That's the third bottle of stout you've had. Well, it's a special occasion. Special occasion, I'm not carrying you home. Eh, hey, I wish I'd been at church. I'd love to have seen it. Oh, it was the best wedding I've ever seen at St Thomas's. Apart from our Lily's, of course. Oh, oh I do like a white wedding. Our Lily had a white wedding. Half of them as goes to the altar in white doesn't deserve to. Look at Mary Schofield at a crown road. She's a nerve. Hey, nerve! Well, it's perfectly true, and well, you know it. She's not the only one. Be a long chalk. I can tell you of a few more if I'd a mind to. Well, we don't want to wear it, thank you. Uh, what's the menu at the church? Oh, we were full. It was a beautiful service. I like the new vicar. Too high. Hey? It's too high for me. All them candles will be having statues next. Hey, what do you think you're playing at? We never ordered no sandwiches. Compliments to the management. Oh, well, that's different, of course. Mr. Walker would like to know what you ladies like to drink with him. Hey, that's nice, Ena, isn't it? What would it be, then? Well, I'll have a milk stout, milk please. Stout. The same for me. Two milk stouts. What have you had, Mr. Sharples? I'll have a port and lemon. Oh, these look nice. Will you have one, Ena? Well, I'll just take one. I don't want to spoil my dinner. By gum, they've been sparing with something. You nearly see through this one. What's the music, then, Oh, Martha? I'll have the choir. They sang, lead us, heavenly father, lead us, and oh, perfect love. Beautiful. We are the 23rd Psalm. The Lord, my shepherd, I shall not want. Let's have another of these sandwiches, Minnie. Yeah, two milk stouts, one pork and lemon. Thank you. Go make a tip. You're quite welcome to anything you'll find under the plate when we've gone. Thanks. Well, yes to the happy couple. Oh, she did look lovely in her going away dress. <laughs> oh, sure up about wedding love. I've heard now tells all morning. Well, you don't know what a wedding does to us, will you? <clears throat> don't I? Oh, any complaints? Nay, hey, love, I've no complaints. <laughs> oh, neither have I. <laughs> hey, poor old Jack Walker. Well, what about him? He should have had a couple of lads, you know, then he wouldn't have had to fork out for this lot. No, I was talking about weddings. Oh, what's that? Yeah, hey, probably our David. No, it couldn't be. He's got a key. Mr. Lawther come up, put him in front room. What for? Well, he wants to see David. Mm. You know what our walls are like. Mm. He gave me this. Mm. Oh, from County. Well, what did you want to see our David for? Well, he wanted to have a word with him about signing on to play for them. Oh. Uh, good, good night, good night. Good night. Yeah, good night. Please, you've enjoyed it. Yes, I have. Come on, Jack. Jack. It was real good to you. have enjoyed it. I am. Watch how you go now, won't you? Goodbye, Mrs. Walker. Goodbye, Mrs. Walker. Bye-bye, Jack. That's all, Mavis, love. Now, don't forget now, you've promised to come up and see us. I won't forget. We'll be along when we love. Oh, yes. And you better be going. Your husband's waiting. Just go in. Put that in, Rosemary. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just like your dad. <laughs> oh, well, thank goodness they've gone. I thought they were going to stop all day. <gasps> oh, oh, don't start that. I should be doing it as well. Oh, what a day. I must say, I'm sorry we've got to open up tonight. I could do with an early night. Well, why don't you have one? I'll ask Harry you to come in again tonight. Or you have a vest for a change. Oh, no, I couldn't. Not on a Saturday. Go on, we'll manage all right. Mm, well, I could do with the rest. Oh, well, that's settled then. Only if Harry Hewitt can come. Don't no worry, he'll come in if it's only to see Conceptor. Now, come <laughs> on, upstairs, you go and get your feet up. Now, Here, hang on a minute, don't lock up. I'll be here all weekend. I thought you'd go. No, I've been upstairs. I have a long journey in front of me, you know, and them express coaches don't stop so often. Well, cheerio, honey, love. Thanks for everything. You couldn't have treated me better if I'd been one of your own. Well, you are, in a way, aren't you, being Gordon's uncle? By the way, he never did say, are you on his father's side or his mother's side? Well, I'm not actually related to either of them. But Gordon called you uncle. Well, you know, our Tizzy always calls me that, but I'm not really his uncle. I'm just a friend of the family. Oh. Ta-da! Mm -hmm.